So today I wanted to talk about a fun, easy way that we can add a little bit of autumn colors to our palette without getting and buying new paint. So what I've done here is I've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then the opposites on the color wheel, green, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of the red. Let's start with that. We got red. Okay. And the easiest way to do this is to add a little bit of green, like that much. And what you're going to get, okay, that was way too much. <laughs> This is gonna give you more of an autumn red. Okay, so let's move on to the next color, which is orange. These are the uh, Paul Rubens floral set that I'm using here, so they're really bright. Take a little bit of that blue. Now the blue, you maybe need like a dab. Like it's really, really not a lot. We take that orange. Look at that pretty color we get. It's beautiful. Let's keep going. I'm gonna do yellow. So you're just gonna add just a teeny bit of the color of the opposite color. Yellow, purple. Okay, see there I got too much. That's gonna give us a brown color. But let's put some more. You can always add more back in if you make too much. Um, let's just do that. That's, it's not a bad color. Um, red and green. We'll do some green. You're probably gonna wanna clean out your brush after every little bit. Touch of red. Maybe a little more red. Okay, that went too far, I think. I think that went too far. No, maybe not. No, it's good. I'll put a little bit more green in there. And that's really gonna tone that down into a really nice, actually, those are very similar. Why is that? Hmm, these paints are weird. Um, Let me add just a little bit more red in there. I feel like that's the wrong color. Sometimes you have to mess with it a little bit. Those look very similar to me. I don't know why. Um, let's do blue and orange. Like I said, this will depend on the set that you have, like what you're actually going to get. But you can see already that they're just a muted down that doesn't look blue at all. Okay, these colors are weird. <laughs> I probably should have tested this before I made this declaration that we could do this. Okay, that's not good. Keep adding more blue until we get it right. Okay, I think that's, that's a little purpley, but that's probably what you're going to expect. Okay, this looked weird. And then lastly, Purple with yellow. Ooh, that's actually a pretty color. I don't really like purple, but it's almost like a brownie color. So you can see that we've got some pretty good colors. Um, another easy way that we can do this is if we took some, let me clear off this palette. So another easy way we can do this is to take the red and add in a brown. So let's just, if we add brown to all of the colors, just a little bit. That is also gonna give you put a little bit more in there. Nice autumn colors. So there's more than one way to do it. It's maybe not as intense as adding the opposite color. Let's do the orange. Oh, I think these need to be sprayed down again. 
Um, so orange plus brown, and you can use any brown. It doesn't really matter what brown you use. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I like that almost better than that. Let's keep going. Yellow. And this is just something that you can think about that you don't need to buy all those specialty colors. Like you can actually mix any colors on your palette using color theory. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that one. I like that one. I don't know. Maybe I like the browns. I like doing it this way better. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, let's add the green. And then also the brown. And after we get done with this little experiment, we might paint something. Oh, wrong color. So I encourage you to... Oh, that's really pretty. I think I like the brown better. What do you guys think? I think I like the brown better than the adding the opposite color. I've done it both ways. Just kind of depends on what color that you, what you're going for. I like more earthy tones, so I think this is kind of more my thing. Um, I do like that purple though, that purple color there. I don't like this one so much. It's a good green but maybe not quite what I want. Okay, lastly, purple. You guys will almost never, ever, ever see me use this color. <laughs> because I think it's, it's not my favorite. Okay. And there we have that purpley brown color, which isn't too bad. That's actually not a bad purple. Okay, so... Let's recap what we got here. These are primary or the opposite colors. I'm just doing this for my own little thing here. And feel free to like, let me move this out of the way. Feel free to screenshot this. Um, I was gonna put add opposite and then add brown. screenshot this so that you can have a little bit of a reference as to what, in case you don't know what the opposites on the color wheel are. Um, so yeah, let's make something, let's make something out of these colors and see what we get. Okay, let's start off with just some black marks. This is a generic watercolor pencil that I'm using here. And this is the Canson XL paper that we're working on. It has two sides to it that are, one's a little smoother than the other one, but I kind of like the rougher side, I think. Okay, let's start there. And then I also want to come in with a little, a little oil pastel resist. And actually, hold on. Okay, so we're just gonna rub, I'm just rubbing some of this oil pastel onto this sheet of deli paper. Um, and then I'm going to take, my stylus and we're just going to make marks with this and see I've done this before and I kind of like how it turned out as far as the lines go and I'm not quite sure what I want to make today so we're gonna have to think about it I'm just gonna spray down my colors again. These colors dry out pretty quickly. Um, I think I wanna start, I'm gonna start off with this blue. I know it's not within what we were just talking about. Um, I think maybe let's add a little bit of brown to that and see if we can tone it. Oh, that's nice. Let's stay within our colors here. So let's just make a bigger, brush through here. I am using uh, eight, a 12 inch round here today. Um, normally I use like the cat tongue or the oval brush, but I thought I'd shake things up a bit. Um, let's just add a little bit of that color with. I think I'm gonna spritz a little bit. And 
and then maybe come in a little bit with paper towel. Pick some pieces out. Paper towel is a good way to spread things out without being too crazy with it. Okay, so the next color, let me smooth that out a little bit. I think I'm going to leave that for now. I might come back in and add both some other colors. Let's see what we got here. Let's do a little bit of that color, actually, because that's really pretty. That was the red and green. Oh, that was very green. Oops. <laughs> Just when you think you got it all figured out. Um, it's a little bit of green. There we go. Okay, let's add just a little bit of that through here. Let's see what that does for it. That's very nice. I'm gonna get out my other brush here, which is a flat brush. Sort of feather it out a little bit. And then we need another color for down here. I'm thinking I really like this green with the, uh, that I just made, actually. So let's put some of that down with our resist. Ooh, that's pretty. Look how fun those resist marks are. That's really cool. Okay. I am gonna be working in light washes today because I don't really wanna get crazy with it. But I really like, I actually really like that plum color and I'm surprised by that. So let's put some of that down let's see what was the the blue no the purple Ugh, purple with the brown my grandmother used to have a car this color we used to call it purple <laughs> and i'm surprised that i like well I actually i'm not because i have that plum color that i've used before Okay, so let's, I think I just want to bring a little bit of that down through here. And that's probably way too much, but kind of like through there like that. And what if we got our swipe? Let's come in with our cardboard and scrape down. See if we can't get some fun, fun marks through there. I really like that resist. It's so subtle, but it's really pretty. I'm like really liking what we're doing here. Okay. I'm going to let this dry and think about where we're going to go next. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of the orange with the brown because I thought that color was really cool. We need some brighter colors, I think. Like... It's pretty bright. Okay, so I want to bring that just through here. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a nice color. I don't really want to, because I like what's going on like right through here. Um, I kind of just want to add a little bit of this color through there. And maybe let's wet it down just a little bit, because that was pretty dry brushy. Um, maybe a little bit through here. And some spots. We don't need it everywhere. And you can see how that resist really shows up when we have more watered down colors versus um, the more solid, thicker colors. And we're using more of a wash. Okay, I'm going to come in with just a little bit more water. And I don't like what that's going on there. I like that. Okay. And we need more green, don't you think? I think we need more green. I want to see what happens if I put more resist marks over what we've already got and then use paint again. What happens with that? Does that even work? Oh, Bob. Okay, 
let's try that. Um, I'm going to do brown and red here to get to that. Oh, that was green. Oops. Yeah, I just made the wrong color. Um, let me get rid of... I like this watercolor set, but the pans are just... The pans are big for big brushes, but it came with another piece down here that just was in the way, so I had to cut it off. Or I had to take the little rod out and get rid of it. So that's green plus brown. So let's do that. And the reason I wanted to try this is because I haven't been using this palette very much. And I haven't really mixed colors with it. So let's see where, let's put this. I like this color. And I kind of want to make it like a little wonky. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Oh, and you can see we're getting a little bit more of the resist through there too. Oh, I really like that. Let's add a little bit more of that, I think. I can want to bring it down just a little bit. And then we need, we need another color through there, but mm, I'm thinking it needs to be that orangey brown color through here as well. So you can put resist over resist. That's definitely possible. Yeah, it's gonna do that color there. I kind of just want a little bit. It's almost the same as this color. It's just a little different. You're probably like, yeah, sure, Trina. It is a little bit different. It's a little bit more. Um, it's got a little bit more warm undertones to it. I just thought that spot up there was a little lacking. Let's bring a little bit of that color through here. I'm kind of liking, like, layering these subtle colors over each other. And I feel like I need a better green. Okay, the next thing I want to do, I'm going to come in with some wires. So I'm just going to scribble out this a little bit on my deli paper so we can make some cool marks. So the watercolor is really just a base for me, and then I just kind of like adding in more color. Um, so I picked out these three colors. Oh, maybe not that one. I like that one. We need something a little bit more ochre. Yeah, here we go. Let's do these three. Um, so this one's going to be, these are the colors that I picked out for what we're going to do. That's okra, sky blue, and umbery color. I think those are going to add some fun pops of color. So let's start with a little bit of the blue. Like I said, these, okay, so my camera decided to be, or my phone decided to be weird. I went in and added some marks through here and I did the blue. It got none of this. Oh, I'm so frustrated. Anyway, um, then I came back in with a little bit of dry brush. I kind of spread the colors out a little bit. Let's just go ahead and I'll just show you a little bit more what I did. We can make it a little more ambitious and make sure we're recording. It just stopped recording. That's so weird. It's so weird. Sometimes technology is just a pain in the you know what. Okay. So this is what I did. I just came in and added some colors through here. And we've got some pretty good, like it's feeling very marshy, very wetlands, very... I kind of like what's going on. Something else that you can do with these Lyra's, if you want, is just take a little bit and put it on your brush like that. And then you can use it in that way too. That's a fun way to use them too, because then you get like almost a bit more saturated color. Let's do a little bit of yellow with that too. And that's going to give you just a little bit of difference. I feel like I want a green. What green do we have? That one feels very bright. What is this one? 
I don't know. Moss green. Let's see what the moss green looks like. I wish I had like a... Oh, that's not bad. I kind of wanted it to be more... Well, that actually matches pretty well, honestly. Do you hate... I'm not hating on that. Okay, I don't want to get too crazy, but I like what we got going on here. It's very, it's bright, but it's autumnal. It's very nice. Okay, the last thing I want to do is come in with, we're going to make some marks for our stylus with our deli paper. Those are really subtle. <laughs> I can barely see those. They're there. I'm going to press a little harder. Yeah, they're there. It's just kind of hard to see. Um, hmm. Okay, these marks are really subtle. And that's probably because they're very similar to what we have. But I think that's going to be kind of cool. Because we're going to add... Oh. It's going to make it easier to add more subtle marks. Um, I think we need another color in there, though. Like maybe a brown or a black. What do we got here? What's this color? This is the dark sepia. That sounds like fun. Let's try that one out. Let's get another sheet here. It feels black to me. Oh, I'm getting the tape marks there. We don't need a whole lot of this. Let's see what this looks like. Let's do, I'm going to start What's going on? Oh, it's maybe it's because I put too much resist on it. Maybe. Hmm. It's real subtle, and it's not really sticking. Very confused. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't pressing hard enough. Okay, that definitely looks black to me, but I'm okay with it. Um, I press too hard, though. I go right through the paper. I kind of want, like... Okay, let's do a couple more. I think those are really fun. Um, maybe... Yeah, I think it's because I already had the wax over here. I don't think it's really taking that well because it's wax on wax, if that makes sense. I don't know why that would happen, but I'm not really that mad about it. I think it's going to work. Um, I think I might be done, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm done. Let's look at it with matte. So here it is with the matte. I think it came out pretty well with those colors. I like the set even more that we've blended some more autumn-y colors in it. I like the lines. I like the resist over the resist. But now I know I can't put too many resist lines because these other lines don't really go over it. Um, but I like the colors here. I think it's very optimal. It's very fun. Um, again, make sure that you... I'm going to put this here again screenshot this so you can kind of oh I smudged it um you can kind of figure out the colors to make and I wish you happy painting don't forget to like this video click over here to see the last one and I'll see you next time thanks bye